a two month lockdown and almost four months since we last left Bucharest, it was time to get out. Where should we go? East, to the coast, the Black Sea. Destination, Constanza, which is also Ella's hometown. Oh, we don't have our masks or anything. Oh, shit. Should we get a mask? Oh, uh, yeah, we should. Let's get a mask. We have to get our masks. I'm gonna buy some snacks. That's so low. I look so blonde. It's a shorty cam, baby. Yeah, there's the yeah, entrance. Are you filming me? Yeah, filming <laughs> you. The largest Romanian city on the Black Sea coast, Constanta is a two and a half hour trip from Bucharest by car. We arrived just before midnight, just in time for a late dinner with my mom and a good night's sleep. The next day we were ready to hit the beach. The beach is a 10 minute walk from my mom's house and to get there you have to go through the marina, which a hundred years ago used to be just a fisherman's golf with a beach that looked like this. The marina as we see it today was built in 1958. Coincidentally enough, the year Ella's mom was born. This is an apple tree <laughs> that we used to climb when we were kids. And it's full of apples. It's actually wild apples. And we used to eat a lot of them. And I haven't eaten something like this in uh, 25 years, I think. So, 25? Yeah, 25. So, I'm gonna try it. Mm. A bit stingy. Show us. <laughs> You wanna try it? No. No? Oh, okay, fine, yes. <laughs> Just a little bit. The artist in me wants to try it. Ah. <laughs> so, what's the verdict? Positively revolting. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Going to the beach. 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 Beach or bitch? <laughs> you know, related to the English mistakes yeah. video. Maybe. <laughs> link down below. <laughs> link down below. <laughs> we don't have hands to show you the link down below. It's like, you know. <laughs> has had this shape for as long as I can remember, though when I was a kid in the early 90s, rather than yachts you would see little wooden boats and fishermen selling their catch to the hungry locals right on the shore. And we were finally at the beach, so we could say the summer had begun. The beach here in Constanza hugs the entire eastern side of the city, all the way up to a resort up in the north called Mamaya which is a destination for the well-to-do. But us, being locals, we visited the normal one for neighbors, families, and some of these interesting things here, like seashells and crabs and stuff. No crabs here. To get back home from the beach, we climbed the same flights of stairs. After a day under the hot boiling sun, this can be grueling. As children, my brother and I used to call them simply the stairs of death. 
Despite the creepy name, this area was one of our favorite playgrounds. We had fun climbing the trees and rolling down the valley in the grass. On Sunday, we took a stroll to Ovid's Square, the central point of the old Constanza. Up until World War I, the square was the place of encounter for business, political, literary, and bohemian meetings, as well as a thriving center full of bars, hotel, theater, and cinema halls, and a promenade. In 1916, the square was occupied by German and Bulgarian troops. But after the war, the square was rehabilitated to once again become the thriving city center. In an age of Amazon, Emag, and mega warehouses, our humble city square has had to repurpose itself, and for the best. Now it flourishes as a tourist spot, boasting two museums, some Roman ruins, and lots and lots of bustling bars. Here is just one building. Look, everyone is in my vlog. You're, you're flexing your vlog, Masumi? Yeah, I am. You're vlog? Yeah. Tell them about how you fixed this stick. <laughs> I didn't! <laughs> Our destination again was the beach. Only this time, we were gonna get there via the scenic route. Crossing modern downtown with its odd old buildings here and there. Like this is the most beautiful city in the whole country. <laughs> Easily. Is it? Easily. Easily? What Easy. makes it so beautiful? Well, you were born here. Oh. It's also blue. Yeah. It's gonna be hashtag, hashtag matrimony dreams. It's the same beach as the day before, but it's seen here from a different angle. And of course, the mandatory flight of ankle-shaking, thigh-bussing stairs is even longer from this point. After chilling at the beach, it was time to climb back to civilization and head home for yet another filling meal. Baby, are you ready for my mom's meal? Oh, I'm so ready. Are you ready for some sarmale? So ready. For some salata buff? So ready. So, we just came from the beach. <laughs> And we're having the greatest time. <laughs> what do you think about how the city presents itself this year? It's like compared to last year. It's like watching a Romanian woman with a skirt slowly lift up to reveal her heels. It's tempting. It's sexual. It's everything. On our way home, the path took us to the Greek church, built between 1862 and 1867. This church was supposed to serve the Greek community, and in fact, up until 1948, Mass was done by Greek priests. And right across the street, there's my primary and middle school, now abandoned. Around the corner from our house is the Grand Mosque, unironically named after a Romanian king, Karl Unu, and inaugurated in 1913. And around the corner from that is an archaeological site with some ruins, because why not? This whole city is a story on top of a story. They wanted to be like an apartment building and they said that they are going to preserve this and turn this into a tourist attraction, but They've only dug up 
Once you know, we look, see several wells. Something, you know. It was the courtyard of that house, the, the cover. Somebody the, bought the covered. land and wanted to. But they had like a huge courtyard. You're saying that house? Yeah. This is a courtyard? The next morning, we took a stroll towards the boardwalk. Right before reaching the shore, you have the city Orthodox Cathedral, the seat of the Romanian Orthodox Archbishop of Tomis, and it's where I was baptized. Built between 1883 and 1885, it was heavily bombed in 1941 and then restored. Of course, by its side, you have some casual Greek slash Roman ruins because why not? This was another favorite playground for us when we were kids. Everyone's favorite places in the old town is the promenade on the seashore, which is currently very neatly set up as a park, but which didn't always look like this. In fact, the whole area of the boardwalk was built kind of artificially in the 20th century by piling up earth and designing the shape of the shore as it is today. Of course, we could not talk about the very symbol of the city, the casino. Inaugurated in 1910, built in the Art Nouveau style, the casino had a very tumultuous history. It went through highs and lows, it was glorified, it was damaged during the wars, it was restored and refurbished several times. Serving not only as an actual casino, but also through time hosting a restaurant, a reception hall, a theater hall, a terrace bar, it was sadly closed down in 1990 and it was in various states of abandonment and degradation ever since. Luckily now, it is finally being restored again and apparently it will once again open to function as... something. We don't know what yet. <laughs> Who this? <laughs> Who this? This your baby. This my baby. This your baby. This my baby love. Moving along from the casino, we have the statue of the Romanian national poet Mihai Eminescu, together with a statue of his lover muse, Veronica Micle. Mm. Eminescu took some spa treatments in Constanza, apparently, and so was accommodated in a hotel situated on the exact spot of the statue, but back in 1882. A short walk takes us back to the marina and here on our left we have the Palace Hotel inaugurated in 1914 but currently closed. At the time of its inauguration it was one of the most modern hotels in Romania. Before we left for Bucharest, we did one last trip to an isolated little beach 20 kilometers south from Constanza. The whole Romanian coast of the Black Sea has clearly benefited from a lot of development from a touristic point of view. And while in the 90s most people were looking for modernity, flashy hotels, bars, clubs and fun places, there was always that category of people who just wanted quiet little virgin beaches to relax and connect with nature. And as tourism developed, this type of beaches are fewer and fewer, far between and difficult to find. This one in Tuzla is one of them, so we enjoyed the afternoon walking and having a quick and tasty fried fish snack in a modest restaurant before going back to my mom's for a belated lunch and then heading back home to Bucharest.
Constanza is one of the most underrated cities on the Black Sea, probably the world, and ever. And yes, like Ella's brother's fiancé told me right to my face, maybe I'm biased, but who cares? The city's awesome, it rocks, it smells great, it's got good looking people, and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of history. Check it out. Constanza. Goodbye.